Hi everybody, it's uh, Caitlin Cupid here, and uh, so you're dating someone with kids. <laughs> maybe one kid, maybe a lot of kids. Um, well, the first thing you need to do is not panic, and just take a deep breath and relax. Um, there's a lot of uh, bittersweetness about uh, entering a relationship with someone who has kids. First things first, um, just know and just come to terms with the fact that um, the kids are always first. They, they always come first, and if you're in a relationship with someone who has kids, then you need to also put those children first because that's just a role that you have accepted and you need to be a good influence on them and they need to become a big priority in your life as well as your new partner. Also, uh, you may have to date in secret for a little bit. <laughs> um, you may be, you know, um, sneaking in late hours and stuff. Uh, that person may not be prepared uh, to introduce you to their kids in the very beginning, which is fair and that's actually good. And the person that you're with should wait a little bit before they are comfortable enough in, sh in you know introducing you to their children that just shows that they are a good parent and that you're in a right situation the other thing you need to realize is the mother or father of those children they will be in your life they will be in your partner's life and yes it is an ex um, maybe the situation is good maybe it's bad either way you need to deal with that on your own don't enter the relationship and then all of a sudden uh, start making a big fuss about it, not letting him talk to him or her. That's just a situation that you are clearly not prepared for and that uh, you just need to get out of it uh, before you're making everything more complicated. And the, the other thing is, if you want children of your own, just make sure that you make that clear and that the person that you're entering the relationship with also wants more children because there is a chance that since they already have kids that they do not want anymore. And the other thing that you need to get ready for is a lot, a lot of kid stuff. You need to know that when you're entering this relationship, your partner won't be able to go out sailing. They won't be able to, you know, take the kids and go to the opera. You're going to be going to parks, play places, the zoo, the aquarium. There's going to be tons of screaming, lots of crying. Depending on the ages, of course, there could be tantrums. There's going to be constant questions. There's going to be a little bit of you know some embarrassing stuff uh, you just gotta laugh it off and you just gotta be you know kind of at that point where you know maybe that's something that you want and you just find it absolutely adorable there's gonna be a whole mess of whining and you know all the funny things that are gross and a lot of dirt and stuff all over the walls so if it's something that you think that you can handle then uh, go for it um, the other thing that you need to realize is if you are starting to date someone who does of children just be mindful that you may be the evil step parent for the first little bit they may not like you it's hard on kids they don't understand it they don't know what happened if they're young they just they you know they might blame you for it they might think that it's all because of you so just be patient with them and you know just be loving and accepting and just be yourself and eventually they'll warm up to you and all those cute little moments and all the rewarding stuff in the end when they tell you they love you and you know when you know that you're loved by them definitely will make it all worthwhile Another thing that you will need to do when you're in this type of relationship is be flexible. Um, plans will change constantly. You think you'll be doing one thing, a child will get sick and he has to cancel. Um, so just be flexible with your plans because it's he's not going to be as flexible as you can be. So just be prepared that you know you might be let down a few times or it might be disappointing, but there's always times to make up for it. So just don't you know act negatively or take it out on him because it's not his fault and that's something that you need to understand going into the relationship and um, he can't take the burden for that. Um, another thing is, is money may be a little tight with kids. Uh, might not, it won't be the same as someone who's single and on their own. Money goes to kids, money goes to child support, money goes to spousal support. So um, there's a lot of people picking at his or her pockets. So just, just be, you know, um, just be mindful of that. But if you're up for the job, then uh, that's great because 
is having you know someone else's kids in your life it, it can be bittersweet it, it's really challenging and it's a lot of responsibility but you know the times that you get out of it and the memories um, the kids smiles and their laughs and everything it's all worthwhile but uh, if you have any other questions in regards to something along these lines or if you are entering any other sort of relationship that you're unsure about give us a call we offer free advice to anyone uh, I will put all the information Information below. We wish you luck and have a good day. Bye.